Hello, I'm here to uh, do a tutorial on ABI UTL. It's a uh, free program and it's an LNE slash compositor. It uh, works pretty well. It has lots of advanced features, but most of them are hidden. So I decided to create this tutorial to help out uh, somebody new to this program and wants to learn basic editing skills with it. Okay. Uh, you can see the interface. It supports multiple video tracks, so you can create lots of special effects like picture-in-picture -picture and track motion and all kinds of other stuff. Okay, now let's begin. Now there are many ways to import your video or image, but I like to drag it directly into the uh, timeline track, like so, and. Uh, one thing that's peculiar about this program versus other uh, video editors and uh, image editors is the tracks are upside down. Instead of having them uh, start from the bottom and work their way up, this one starts from the top and works its way down. So it's okay once you figure it out, but until then it's a little bit confusing. It's basically, uh, you got to look at it from the perspective as you're looking up versus looking down. Okay, now we're gonna. I'm gonna import this uh, video clip over to the right. You'll see the uh, preview window. Once I drag it in here, it'll show up. And now, when I import, it brings the video and the audio together. But the problem with this thing, they're not linked by default. But you can link them by default. So you line them up. You have to hold down the control key, and then you click on the video. And while still holding on the control key, you, hit, you click on the audio. And then you right click while still holding the control key and select grouping. Once you do that, they will be linked together and you can move them around freely like so. Now you can put the cursor where you want and use the arrow keys to scroll through it like I'm doing right now. And uh, as, as it's scrolling, you can watch it. On, on the uh, preview window. Now, if you want to uh, adjust the length, you can adjust it like uh, normal video editors. Just by dragging it and pulling it back like this. Of course, you can also uh, select the place where you want to cut it. Just put, just put the uh, the cursor where you want to cut it and then uh, either right click on the track and uh, select uh, split or just hit the S key either one will do it and then uh, you just select the part that you don't want and hit delete now I'm gonna import an image file just so I can show you how the tracks behave. I'm just going to drag this JPEG down over on uh, actually underneath the video but it really ends up being on top because this is reverse order. And if you look over to the left here you can mute the track by by uh, clicking the, uh, the track button and it'll mute it and you'll see it, the video that's behind the image. And then when you click it back on you will see the image. Just wanted to show you how how the uh, layout works so you understand it. So I'll get rid of this uh, image right now and I will import another video. So I'll just drag it down here, and drop it onto this track and the same thing happens. The audio and video are both imported but they are not grouped together. You need to do that same method that I used before is the same method you have to use for each video that you import. You just control uh, select both of them and then control right click and uh, select grouping. And that's how you group them together. Then you can move them freely and uh, just overlap them a little bit 
so that I could add a fade to it and uh, go fade from one end to the other, right? So, because right now it just jumps from one to the other. So, we shall select the video on the bottom and uh, go into the properties window. Once you double click on the uh, on the video track, you will see the properties window. I have to drag it into view so you can see it. But anyways, here's the properties window. Now over here you click on this plus and you scroll down and you find uh, fade. And by default they'll give you a half a second fade in and a half a second fade out. And this applies just to this this track alone. You also have to add do the same thing for the uh, audio track as well if you want to fade the audio. Otherwise it will only do the uh, video. So that's done. Then you select the audio track and do the same thing. Hit the plus, go to the drop down and, and click fade audio. And you'll see the same layout on the bottom. And now when you scroll to it, you'll see it should fade right into the other scene smoothly, which it does. Now you have to do this to all the uh, clips that you want to fade. Now we're going to add a uh, text title. Uh, right click on the video track below the video. Choose video object and then text. And it'll create a text file. I'm going to expand it a little bit. And then uh, double click on it, you'll bring up the properties window. And down here in this box, you type in the text that you want. I'm just going to call it a day at the river. And then uh, you enter it down, and then you can adjust the size, font style, and various other things. Over here is the font size, so I'll just increase it so you can see it clearly. And uh, then over here, you have options. You can do uh, shadow, light shadow, or you can do border. There's a light, there's a light shadow right there, and here's a border. But I'm just going to choose the light shadow, so I'll click on that. And while the uh, the text title is highlighted, you can just take it with your mouse and just drag it to the place you want to put it. So I'm going to drag it right over here, and you can see how it looks. Wait a minute, this uh, this other this thing right here is uh, is is to adjust the uh, video speed, but it works really cool on titles. If you drag it over, it actually uh, looks like it types the text one at a time. And then up here, you also want to do the fade in, fade out, just like you do a regular video track. And then I, I set the in to about about a quarter of a second. And the out, now you just leave it a half a second, looks fine. And now when I scroll, I'll show the effect. There it is right there. It's a pretty cool effect. Now I continue uh, scrolling just to make sure that the uh, transitions work correctly the fades are working properly which it does it transitions to the next scene smoothly now I'm going to show you how to export click file up here and you scroll down and uh, first I'll show you AVI export AVI and then uh, you're going to uh, assign a name uh, I just put test.avi and if you save it as is, it's going to be uncompressed, which would be a very large file size. So you click on video compression here. And uh, depending on what type of codecs you have in your system, will determine what you can use. And uh, various other things you can use. You can use export via FFD show if you want, uh, which will allow you to save MJPEG if you like. Or you can uh, go with the lossless route and choose either Lagarith or uh, UT Video Codec. Anyways, this is for AVI export. But 
most people now probably won't use this. X264. Uh, click so. on and choose export uh, with plugins, and then choose advanced X264 export GUI. When you click on that, it will give you the option to save uh, either MP4, MKV, or just RAW 264. So I'm using MP4. Over here, make sure you choose you don't have uh, no sound checked. Make sure that's unchecked. That way you'll encode the audio also. Click on the video compressor. And if you're familiar with uh, the X264 interface, this you'll, you'll be right at home here. If you don't know anything about this, I suggest you probably just leave everything alone and maybe just adjust the quality slider. The default, I think, is like 22 or 23. And then just slide it down to about either 19 or 20 should give you decent quality. So if you don't know anything, just adjust that and that's it. And then uh, over here for the AAC encoder, the default is 128 kilobits. And I like 256, so I change it to 256. Then you click OK. And then you name it. I'm uh, going to name it a test.mp4. And then choose a location and save it. And then you'll see that it's rendering right now. Up on the top, it gives you the percentages uh, that it's rendered, how many frames per second, average bit rate, etc., etc., etc. And then you just wait till it's all done and close it out. Now we'll uh, close the program completely out and uh, play the uh, test MP4 I just created. And I'll play it in Media Player Classic HC. And I uh, can't fit the whole thing in the window, so you only see a part of the screen. And there you see my dog going in the water, eating the water. And uh, the title should come in any second now. There it goes. And then it transitions correctly. And that's it.